when you wake up, this is what you gotta do. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. Every day I'm here to motivate, lead the way in the AM. I don't want you to hear these words, I need you to feel what I'm saying. Oh, no. you gotta crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. In the building, Jimmy Wilson, motivation's coming, I can feel it. First thing that you need to do is crush the day before it crushes you. Some losses are a blessing in disguise. Because yeah, sometimes you gotta get your ass whooped to understand what not to do in the future. Right? When you were growing up, maybe you said something smart to somebody and they rocked you one, right? Or you did something that got you into trouble, you know, like maybe stealing a bicycle from a neighborhood kid and then getting caught riding it down the street. You know, that's, it's kind of a dumb thing to do, but we're kids and we do dumb things like that. And so sometimes you have to take that loss, you know, you have to take that punishment because there's a lesson there and there's, there's a blessing in that because it's going to make you a better person. That's ultimately what losses do for everyone. When you take a loss, you get a chance and an opportunity to learn a lesson, which is a blessing, right? The blessings in life are the lessons we learn by the experiences we go through. You have to go through these different traumas. You have to have these losses, right? You know, again, when you're growing up, you, you have boyfriends or girlfriends that you, you think, oh my gosh, this young love, it's everything. And then, you know, you break up over something stupid. Oh, well, you wrote a letter to Tiffany. You know, it, it, it's these things that we have to go through to understand the blessing that, hey, we weren't meant for that person. That wasn't the right situation. And as you continue to get older and have more of those experiences, more of those losses, you recognize the blessing in them, right? And that's what happens. I know when I got let go from my job two weeks before Christmas, um, it was one of the worst things that ever happened to me. I, I remember going home like in, in tears because I thought to myself, what am I going to do? It's two weeks before Christmas. I just spent all of my last paycheck buying Christmas presents for my family. And now I don't have a job. Rent's going to be due in two weeks. The landlord doesn't care. I can't go get a job because there's nobody hiring right now. But the blessing in that was by staying the course continuing to get up and move forward every single day. I was able to get connected with someone who was a previous client who then offered me a job which allowed me to make twice as much as I was making before I got let go just that two weeks before Christmas. So while that loss at the moment was one of the worst things that had ever happened, it was a blessing because it opened up the opportunity for more. So just remember that some less losses in your life are blessings in disguise. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crush of the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.